Well, Lucas, well done. A fantastic 6-1 win over Peter Devlin. Th these qualifiers are, are, are brutal and very tough. So how, how pleased you to come through in such a comprehensive manner? Yeah, unbelievable. I mean, uh, I struggled in the last months to get some good results. So <clears throat> I felt a lot of pressure now, but um, yeah, very, very happy to have won the first round. It's only the second time you, you've got through that, that, that first round in yeah. these world qualifiers. It, it's a really tough event, isn't it? It's, it? To explain to people at home, just what, what's the pressure like compared this week to, to any other week of the year? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's the world championship. That's the biggest tournament of the year. I mean, you can have a bad season and a good run in the world championship and you know uh, that counts more than everything else. So that's how the pressure is here. And s snooker in, in your home country of Germany, it, it, it's getting more and more popular, isn't it? And uh, you know, I think yeah. you've only got to look at the German Masters where we get regularly get crowds comfortably over 2,000 to see that. We, we've still not had a, a player from Germany compete at the Crucible, and I know you won't be getting too far ahead of yourself in, in that regard, but if I can, can force you to just for a second, what, what, what would it mean to, to you to be the, the first player from Germany to, to play at the Theatre of Dreams? Yeah, that would mean everything. I mean... I, I can still remember the first time I've, uh, I've watched a match there. That was just a great feeling and I always said to myself, I really want to play there one day. So would, uh, would dream come, would, dream would come true. Uh, and, and how much do you think that, that could inspire you know, more people to take up snooker in Germany? You know, it's really developing in snooker, snooker in Germany in terms of the participation side. We've now got you and Simon Lichtenberg on, on tour. But I suppose yeah. that's the area we need to develop, isn't it? Because the, the, the viewership's already there, isn't it? Yeah, I think that would, that would help a lot because um, in the past the people thought, oh, uh, snooker, it's just the, the UK guys and maybe some players from Asia. But now they see there are also other countries that participate and um, everything is possible. They see that. So, yeah, hopefully other players from Germany will also start playing. And, and in round two, I think it'll be a great advert for snooker in continental Europe as a whole because you'll be up against Swiss number one Alexander Ersenbacher. Uh, that, that'll be a re really good game, won't it? You've got two really good young players. Yeah, definitely. And I'm good friends with him. It will be a little bit awkward, but uh, looking forward to that, yeah. And, and, and he's quite an attacking and aggressive player, Alexander, yeah. isn't he? So is, are you expecting quite an, an open game in that one? Or? We will see. I think it really depends on the opening frames and uh, then it shows how the match can go. Yeah, but it can be really attacking. We will see. Well, it's a game I'm really looking forward to watching. Good luck. Thank you very much.